There we go. All right. So let's be honest. Oh, I'm not supposed to touch my face. Uh, you all thought that you weren't going to see me anymore, but here I am. So we've made it back. Uh, it's week nine, technically, in the way everything is going to work. So what I'm going to do, in addition to giving you a typed out version of everything that's going on for the week, I'm going to send out quick videos every Monday to help explain what's going on. So once again, just to reiterate, every Monday I'm going to give you directions about what you have to do for the remainder of the week, and everything is going to be at your own pace. We're not going to meet in a live classroom or anything like that. We'll have discussion boards to where you all can interact with each other, and you're always welcome to email me or message me via Remind, anything like that. Okay, so the primary objective for this week is to workshop all of the poems that you have written for project number two. So it should be pretty easy. So you should have already pretty much completed all of your poems for, uh, I believe it's assignment number seven, blog number seven. If you haven't done that yet, don't panic. I understand it's a crazy time. Just make sure that you submit that beneath the lessons tab so I can give you a grade for it but it's also what you're going to need in order to complete this week's tasks. So uh, I'm just gonna run through everything you have to do real quick. So the first thing you do is make sure that you're reading. So read uh, Stephen King's On Writing. We're in the section of the book called CV, read chapters 11 through 25. That sounds super overwhelming. You're like, oh my God, over 10 chapters. They're like, sometimes they're like a sentence. So read that. Uh, I've also posted a video in the syllabus as well is a TED Talk by Billy Collins that'll just kind of get you in the poetry mood a little bit more. So check that out. It'll kind of help you with the creative process of writing your poems. Uh, I've also created a folder, and I'm going to be doing this for each be doing this for each week that we have left in the semester. Uh, it's going to be underneath the lessons tab. So uh, if you are watching this video, it's available to you now. Uh, there's a folder called Week Nine. So click on that week nine folder, you'll see the announcement that I sent out. Uh, there's also going to be a clickable link beneath a section called Explore. So there you're going to find an article called The Warmth of the Messy Page by Rachel Richardson. It's going to be a really helpful article in the process of revising and editing your poem. So read through that article uh, and also you're going to use that as a guide for this week's assignment. So here's what you're going to do. In week nine, you're going to find a section called Poetry Workshop. It's a discussion board. You're, you're going to click on that link, Poetry Workshop, and it's going to bring up a bunch of different options for you. What you want to do from there is click Create Thread. Once you've clicked Create Thread, you're going to click the Browse My Computer option and upload the file that you submitted for your rough draft. So basically you're uploading the file that has your five poems for your upcoming project that will be due soon. Okay? And submit. Now, here's where I can't touch my face. Here's where it starts to get fun. Or at least in my opinion, it gets fun. After you've uploaded your poems, you're going to click back on the Poetry Workshop discussion board. And once you've done that, you should see, uh, assuming that everyone's following, God, uh, assuming everyone's following along, you're going to see that uh, discussion board start to be populated with everyone else's submissions as well. What you have to do is you need to click on one of those projects because that's the project that you are going to critique. So using that article, that's in the explore section, uh, the warmth of the messy page. Use that as kind of like a guide to get you in the flow of how to critique and talk about poems. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click comment and I want you to offer helpful and constructive suggestions to your classmate to help them in their revision and editing process. So uh, as you're reading, be asking yourself, what's working about this poem? and why, what's not working about this poem and why. So, and something that you should do in this process is actually quote the poet, right? Don't give me really vague statements like, 
Oh, really pretty things you said here. I like what you did. It's good. It's good. I like it. That doesn't help anyone, right? So, um, quote them. When you said gas spewing cobra, <laughs> uh, you, can, <laughs> you can say, that sounds bad, man. Don't talk about gas spewing cobras. <laughs> your poem so um so make sure that you're being specific actually quote from the poet and talk about what's working what's not working and why just like we've been doing in class when we've been discussing different poems or short stories whatever it may be so your comment overall needs to be at least 150 words so that's you do the math 30 words per poem uh, it, it should be more, but that's the minimum, 150 words. Do your best to actually engage with what they're writing in their poetries. Don't be the hey bro guy. Like I, I can read your comments and tell when you're just brushing things off. Keep in mind, we're all freaking quarantined. We don't have a whole lot to do right now. Uh, I say that. If you have kids, you can probably hear my kids right now. They're running around screaming. Um, but understand that people are probably interested and in looking forward to hearing what others have to say about their art. So actually engage with these works. Think about them. You might need to read it, walk away for a bit and come back and offer your critiques, but, uh, really treat these as art that people are putting a lot of their heart and soul into. So take it seriously. Tell them what you loved and why. Be brave and say what you think they can improve and why. I don't really care about the formatting. Uh, it might be best to work with a bulleted list, things like that. Um, and make sure that you have both uploaded your poems to the discussion board and that you have made your comments before 11.59 p.m. on March 29th. That's Sunday. So that's when this week's work will end at 11.59 p.m. And then Monday we'll start the next unit the next week. So I know it's a little bit wonky because you've already submitted these poems for assignment number seven, blog number seven, and that you're doing it again for this week's assignment. Uh, I get that and I totally understand it. I know it's weird. Kind of just have to go with the flow because we're all adjusting things on the fly. So I hope everyone's doing well. Wash your freaking hands. Seriously, take the social distancing very seriously, very, very seriously. Um, we all have a role to play. So um, if you didn't see my announcement, uh, watch the video before the prior announcement just for a few bits of encouragement. I'm also going to try to attach some things that will help you all feel better. You all know I listen to podcasts, so... In case you've forgotten, which I imagine you haven't, I'm going to tag uh, Poetry Unbound and another one I really love called On Being, which I've talked about a little bit. So if you're looking for some things to kind of keep you sane, check out those podcasts this week. Can you hear my wife? She's playing flute right now. She's She teaches flute lessons and she's doing it through Zoom. What a crazy world. What a crazy world. Okay. Y'all are awesome humans. I might have messed up something somewhere. There might be a typo somewhere. This is all new to me too. So if you uh, need clarification, I'm on your side. Don't panic. Some of you had some like knee-jerk reactions that you're going to drop the glass. Don't do that. You're halfway through. Just hang in there. And you know that I'm your advocate. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that you succeed. So let's do this together. I'm going to muscle this out. For seven more weeks, we can do this. All right? Okay, let me know if you need any help.